We're going to talk a little bit today about the string method called split, which is technically not part of the CSA curriculum, but it's extremely useful. And sometimes on the AP CSA exam, it can be used on an FRQ to make the problem much simpler. So let's have a quick look at this. And oftentimes in life, we'll have a string that looks like this. And we'll have a string like this. Just turn to your partner for a second and describe what you think this, the parts of this string might be and what this string represents. If, this were, if there were a lot of these in a database, what would each of these things mean? Mr. Sneed, what is your opinion, sir? What do you think this is that we've got here in this string? This is the salary. So this is basically a record. It's a, it's, an, it's a record of an individual, and the database might have thousands of these. So a lot of times what we want to do in computer science is we want to take a record, and we want to break the record into pieces. The pieces are often called tokens. tokens. So I'm going to show you how to break up this one, for example. So I'm going to say string array tokens equals s dot split. And I need to tell the split function what to use as a delimiter. What is the thing that is being used to distinguish from one token versus another? Mr. Daguj, what is it, sir? It's going to be, it's a colon. So I'm going to put the colon here as the delimiter. Now I have a few questions for you. What's happening here is that it's taking this string, which is, this is a single string, right? It's going to break it into pieces, and it's going to load the pieces into an array. Notice now I have created a brand new array. I have not used the keyword new, and I have not used the curly brackets. So this method is returning a new array to me. You see that, right? It's return, it creates an array, and it returns it to me. And what I want to know now is how big will this array be? How many elements will it have? So if I print the length of it, what will it say? Uh, let's see here. Miss uh, Salutkar, can you tell me how many elements will be in this array, Miss? So the colons separate the fields in the record. How many fields are there in this record? Four. So if I run this, that there are four fields in the record. And I want you now to use a loop to print them out for me. Mr. Borden, sir, can you help me put this loop together? I want to print out the fields one per line. OK, let's just run this, and I'll let you go to lunch. Here we go. And you can see that each of the fields have been broken. We could refer to the entire string as a, as a record and then the individual pieces that we're breaking off as fields of the record that's database terminology and it's appropriate here we said for this particular record if we use the colon as the delimiter it would break up into four pieces now let's say that instead of using the colon as a separator i had used a single space as a separator how many pieces will this be broken into now and what will the pieces be what will be the size of the token array, sir, if I use single space as a delimiter? I'll have two items. What will the first item be, sir? And then the next item will be everything else. We're all good with that? Let's run it. You can see it's broken up into two pieces. The first one is John, and the next one is everything else. There are two little idiosyncrasies of this method that I want to teach you now before we move on. The first is that you're allowed to have more than one delimiter. I'm going to show you now. I'm going to use both the colon as well as the dash as the delimiter. And when I do that, I'm going to put the delimiters. Looks like a smiley face. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to put the delimiters inside these square brackets to suggest that there is a set of them. And now both the colon and the dash will be considered delimiters here. Mr. Matloop, sir, how many pieces will I get from this string this time? How many fields will it be broken into? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's run that. And you can see here are the six pieces. So that's the multiple delimiter example. 
And the last thing I want to show you is if I have a record like this and I go use no delimiter at all. So now I have an empty string. There's no spaces here, right? See if you can guess how many pieces this will break into and what will the individual pieces be. You can see it broken into seven pieces, and when you have no delimiter at all, every single character is broken up into its own token, and that can be useful sometimes. So this, in this case, you can see it's broken up into seven pieces, and each character, including the blank, by the way, you notice that the blank itself is a token in this case, because it's not a delimiter.